Hi everyone, welcome to Cindy's Art. Today, we're going to paint another fast, easy Christmas bag uh, painting. And I used a reference photo off of Unsplash. I lightly sketched it onto my paper, and then in order to lift up some of those lines that I thought were a little dark, I took one of my gum erasers and I simply rolled it over the paper. It's a trick I used, I learned from another artist. And rolling it helps lift off some of the extra dark pencil lines that might show through that I didn't want. So the next thing I did was work wet on wet. With wet on wet, I wet down the bag area. And this is uh, Arches 140 pound paper and the water is going to soak down into the layers of that paper. And uh, I did not wet it twice, but I wet it down well enough of where as I dabbed on paint, I'm putting in some of the light areas. I'm giving myself just a little visual reference of where some of the light and some of the dark is going to be. Um, and that just helps me that when I go into painting for um, adding in a layer, my first layer, it just helps tell me a little bit of where things are going to be. So I am going to recommend using a Holbein Quinn Scarlet with a light red. And then I like Daniel Smith Quinacridone Red, uh, Daniel Smith brand. And um, you can play with uh, many other types of reds. I just recommend that if you buy red paints, make sure you look at the test swatches and then also create your own swatches. You want to know if that red has a blue tone, if it has a yellow tone, or it's more orangey. Um, and one of the things that I will do is uh, use alizarin crimson, which is a, a very darker type of uh, red. I'll add a little bit of pink in it. Um, I really like vibrant colors, and I find by adding in a little bit of pink, like bright rose or opera, it'll actually brighten up that red. Um, I think everybody has their preference on what kind of colors that they like with red, and I do too. So anyway, uh, let's go back to the painting. So I, you can see that I've sketched in a little bit of dark areas. I would recommend using a tiny dab of neutral when you want to make those dark lines. And uh, I continued to work wet on wet. My paper was wet enough that when I put paint in there, it's simply going to spread. And then I make sure that I have enough water on that brush too, where um, it will you know, add in a little extra water. And that's what I just did uh, with that last swipe of paint in there. I had enough paint or water on that brush where it just added extra water in. And that's another way you can work to keep your canvas wet when you're painting. I'm using a little bit of neutral right there for me to dab in some of those shadows. It's going to help create the shapes in the bag. So you could look at your reference photo and I don't want you to fuss. I just want you to think light and dark on this bag. And I want you to add in your red paint. Uh, just make sure you've got um, a lighter color, a lighter red for those highlights. And then you can always take a dry brush when your paint is still wet and you can use the dry brush and rub it on a place that's going to be where you need light, it'll pick up that paint. That's another trick that you can use. Now I'm using a little bit of alizarin crimson, which is a dark, 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 dark red pink color. And I'm using a tiny bit of neutral in that too. And the neutral, what it does is I wound up with an alizarin crimson shade. It, it turns it into more of a darker shade. And I'm simply looking at the lines of where that, those bags are. I'm not worrying about what it looks like at this point. I just want to create the darker lines. After I do something like this where I've got this light and dark, I'm going to let that dry. So I'm shifting to work on the presents that are up towards the top. And I'm keeping it very simple. I'm just adding in a little red, a little green, and I'm, you know, sketching out those ribbons 
and I'll add in shadows later. So this is meant to be fun. I think you could probably do this painting, I would say 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and 30 minutes just because you might take your time when you're sketching in those shadows and then you want your picture to dry a little bit. But all I'm doing is sketching. And while I'm doing that at the top, the bottom part of the bag is drying. Then what you'll see me do is I'll go back in. I'm gonna add some more red into that bag. Why am I doing that? It is a type of glazing. I'm adding a second layer of paint. And when I add more layers of paint, it comes out more saturated. Uh, it's got a stronger values. Uh, the colors are really popping as I add in more um, color into it. And that's the beauty of watercolor. If I wanted to keep it light, I could. And if I wanna add more into it, I can use layers and layers of paint. And it's gonna show what's on the bottom layers. And it's also gonna show um, that vibrancy of the red. So you can see I'm just using uh, simple brushes, nothing fancy. And this red brush is called a Golden Natural. And I get that at uh, the Brush Guys. It's the only place I could find that brush. That set is very inexpensive. If you are a beginner uh, painter, I highly recommend getting yourself, you could get yourself probably 10 of those brushes for under 40 bucks. Um, they're very reasonable. And I find that uh, even with some of my nicer brushes, there's times, depending on what painting I'm working on, I'll grab these brushes and I'll use them. But thebrushguys.com is the place of where you can buy them at. Uh, definitely worth a look. So I'm painting some of the white that's in this Santa bag, and I'm doing it by adding either a touch of orange, which will add warm shadows, or I'm gonna use a tiny, tiny bit of cerulean blue. I would recommend cerulean versus ultramarine blue deep. You could do that, but the cerulean, I like it. I feel like I can add a little bit of color in there and it's not gonna darken it up too much. Then I'm gonna work on some of the shadows with the presents and you'll see me add in a few more details. So let's let you listen to some gorgeous Christmas music and continue painting.
We are moving on to some final details. I'll be using a little bit of neutral mixed with alizarin crimson. Um, it's going to look like a darker, you know, like a blackish almost. Uh, but all I'm doing is adding details in. And you can see that bag, it's come to life a little bit more by me adding in some more um, colors, you know, by painting more red on top of it. And uh, if I wanted to make it super realistic, I would probably add another layer on the light tones, another layer on the dark tones, and then the mid tones. And the mid tones are in between that light and dark. And uh, I would add enough in there where it looks like a nice smooth bag. I didn't want that. You know, sometimes during Christmas uh, or even afterwards, we need something to play with. And uh, painting should not just be always painting uh, a, a professionally done, you know, it's got to look perfect type of painting. Sometimes we just need to get our brushes out, our water out, and just do something fun. And that's what this was for me. Um, I've had bronchitis for about a month. I still am down with it. Um, and uh, I'm glad I got my voice back enough of where I can talk with you. So you're going to see me finish out some of the details with this fine brush. This is that Golden Natural. And this is a liner brush, L-I-N-E-R. Liner is that, it means that it's got a, a longer uh, tip of brushes, but it, it's not fat, it's skinny. And what that allows me to do with this brush particularly, I can pick up enough water and paint where I'm not going back every five seconds in order to pick up um, you know, more color. So I'm just going to continue to add a little bit more of tweaks with my shadows, my mid-tones. Enjoy this and we'll be back in one more minute. I took creative liberty on this package. Um, I looked at the photo, but I went ahead and I created some gold. I used, uh, Daniel Smith has got a beautiful gold. I'm gonna flip to my golds. Uh, let's see, pearl gold gouache is really nice. That's by Holbein. And then iridescent gold with Daniel Smith is a really good one too. Um, so I add a little bit of gold streaks on it and a uh, little bit of striping, that was fun. And then when I went to do the background, um, I didn't follow what they did with the reference photo, but I put a nice icy blue. And the icy blue is done by using a tiny bit of, um, I honestly would use a little bit of ultramarine blue deep with that, and a little bit of violet. That would be a lot of fun too. And the reason why is white is what not white, and you wanna catch an icy look. So think about um, light blues, 
think about a little bit of purples and also add some beautiful shadows in there. And um, you can see what I did, I added water in the background here, uh, but I did not paint it everywhere. And then I splattered some water and splattered some paint. By splattering water, when I put a drop of paint down, it's gonna spread into some of those areas. It looks a little bit messier, a little bit looser. And that kind of creates a nice background. So that's how I finished this off. And I will have one or two more Christmas paintings. I got them out late this year, but I was sick and you guys were really kind to me, so thank you. Um, so I'll have that, I'll finish that up and we'll have some more um, seaside and windmills and some other stuff coming up that I hope you'll be excited about for this year. So I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and enjoy today's painting. Show me what you got. I tell you how to do that in the description and we'll see you next time.